Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Yes, Doctor Doom, my favorite Marvel villain, and Bucky's my favorite cartoon character, all in one. Actually, I wore this out today for uh, it's to Christmas Day, and I wore this Bucky's outfit to the restaurant. Not this mask. Let me take this thing off real quick. Um, actually, it's not a Doctor Doom mask. I wish it was, because that's would be badass. This is actually one of these anti-aging masks that I got as a present, uh, LED light. I don't know whether to be flattered, happy, or not. Why do I need an anti-aging mask? I look like a 30-year-old kid, don't I? Anyway, I look ridiculous. But that's the purpose of my channel. Look half ridiculous and showcase audio files that are pretty ridiculous. In any case, what I wanted to do with this video real quick, wish you a happy holidays, Merry Christmas once again. And hope you have a happy new year. I got a couple of more videos before the year end. And what I've been doing the latter half of December was my best of awards. I've done songs, uh, people, products. One thing that has been a tenant of my channel, as you know, it's not just DSP and, and certain other things. Uh, biggest bang for the buck type stuff. Open baffles. There's a lot of things I'm known for. But if there's one thing that most people, especially my close friends know me for and have adopted themselves based on my recommendations and coming back here is the importance of using your system for video content. There's so many great recordings on YouTube that are better by objective metrics and dynamic range and other things. There's a website that even studies the compares them, plus the performance value that you can't get on streaming, plus the visuals. Instead of just staring at a wall, so many people spend so little time listening to their system because they get bored or their head is in the iPad or whatnot. There's nothing to see on the screen or see in front of them to help visualize. And there's a lot of value to these <laughs> recordings on YouTube, especially if you have the Bach. There's binaural recordings. And the recording that I feature today, my video of the year for audiophiles, on YouTube is one that has a lot of spatial cues if you have the Bach and it also teaches you a little bit about sound because as you'll see I don't want to spoil it uh, this video uses sound waves and uh, really well done it's a badass tune badass video but also perfect for audiophiles and the additional takeaway this shows me is that I went to a show this year of all the shows I went to one show produced probably uh, a ton more value for me than I thought going in, and that was Cedia, which is normally not even for audiophiles. It's more industry-related, home theater and whatnot. But from that show, I found this recording, and I found my new seating, and also some things that I may be using in my Airbnb that I'm building. So it just goes to show you that the audiophile press, ignoring the Cedia show, do so at your own peril because there's value for audio files and don't have these preconceived notions about all these shows. If you go in there with an open mind and looking for value that can apply to you is more than just this narrow focus of these hotel rooms and stereotypical Keith Don't Go recordings. That can get kind of tiring. Try going to CD or other shows uh, if you can and find out other things that may impact what you hear, whether it's great recordings you can play on your system, great seating, all those things. Now, I do have a video before the end of the year that the thing that pissed me off most, and it is somewhat related to my seating, so stay tuned for that. And then I have my product of the year that I'm going to release as well, so stay tuned for that. But without further ado, here is the uh, video of the year. It's on YouTube, and I just recorded it on my system with the Bach playing, everything. It's not calibrated for where the mic is on the camera, but it still comes out pretty darn good for you, so enjoy. If you spare a little of your imagination, it is a film to describe to you the effect of cymatic frequencies on matter.
owes its existence solely and completely to sound.